Hello again from North Haven, Connecticut. We're getting loaded right now. We'll be taking this load to Winchester, Virginia tonight. On Sunday, we ended up going home because they didn't have another load for me after the one I dropped off Sunday morning. So we got back on the road Monday afternoon, picked up a load in Northeast Pennsylvania, took it to Westfield, Massachusetts. And we've been here since yesterday afternoon waiting for my 10 o'clock loading appointment. I'm probably not gonna record anything the rest of the day because I'm not really going anywhere I haven't already been before and probably not gonna see anything too exciting. But I would like to tell the next part of my life story while I'm getting loaded. Last week I talked about what I was like in high school with an emphasis on my unhealthy obsession with my favorite sports teams. And today I'm gonna to start talking about my college life. I graduated high school with a modestly satisfying social life and hoped to have a much greater social life in college because people there wouldn't know how weird I was as a little kid. I was looking forward to a career in journalism and I was thrilled to have earned a full tuition scholarship to Drexel University. I had a lot to be thankful for, but I was still very upset over everything I wanted and didn't have. I still considered myself a practicing Catholic and went to Sunday Mass when it wasn't too inconvenient, but my faith was far from the most important thing to me. When I prayed, it was usually just for things I selfishly wanted, and if I didn't get something I prayed for, I'd cry, Why God? Why God? Why? And I'd despair over it, but I wouldn't curse God or stop going to Mass just for that reason. After I got my driver's license in 11th grade and my parents started going to Mass less often for various reasons, I kept going to Mass on my own just because it was something I had always done. I don't remember getting much out of it at that time. As far as I can remember, I was just going through the motions of being Catholic without my own sense of purpose. That's where my faith was at when I started as a freshman at Drexel. My highest priorities as a freshman, besides getting good grades, which has always come naturally to me, were to have an active social life and get a girlfriend. I worked hard at these goals, taking many steps out of my comfort zone and experiencing occasional successes, but I was still just as much of a socially awkward guy with Asperger's as I was in high school. This made for a pretty miserable situation most weekends. Usually, if I wasn't hanging out with anyone on a weekend night as a freshman, I felt like a loser. But on the few occasions when I went to a party, and even the one and only time I went to a nightclub, I felt so awkward and hardly said a word to anyone and didn't go home satisfied. As for dating, I didn't even try asking out any girls on campus because I didn't find anyone who was available and seemed like a possible good match. There were a few I became somewhat good friends with, but either they were taken or the circumstances just didn't seem right, in my opinion, to try asking them out. So in January of my freshman year, I started using dating websites. After a couple months, I hit it off with someone and we started dating. But like my only relationship in high school, she dumped me after less than three months. I certainly had my share of faults with her, with the biggest being the things I did with her that we shouldn't have even thought about until marriage. But at the time, I placed the blame entirely on her because I thought she had lied and broken her promises to me. After that breakup, I was so devastated and so desperate to have a girlfriend again that I immediately went back on the dating site and went on a date with someone new three days after the breakup. Think I was crazy for trying to jump into a new relationship so quickly? I certainly agree with you now. My time with that next girl didn't last long, but that wasn't too bad because it was the beginning of summer and being single at that time allowed me to focus more on my summer job as a freshman orientation leader at Drexel. My fellow orientation leaders quickly became my new best friends. We had a great time together on the job and partying together at night, especially when we shared stories of our sexual accomplishments. At the time, I was proud that I had some dirty stories to share from the relationship I had that spring. In fact, sharing those stories and hearing everyone else's made me a little embarrassed that I hadn't done more of it. But the other OLs and I did talk about a lot of things besides sex, so I really came to trust them, and I believed we would all be friends for a long time. But after that summer, I gradually fell out of touch with all of them. I had my big conversion of faith in December of that year, 
And after that, I realized that my core values were so different than the core values of most other Drexel students, especially because Drexel is a secular school, despite being founded and named after the uncle of St. Catherine Drexel. I think they're almost finished loading me, so I'll continue with my life story the next time I have a chance. Till next time, please keep me in your prayers, and I'll keep you in mine. God bless.